You found your passion a while ago. Yes, strong You thought you did. Way but, back. Oh, but bodybuilding. And then it switched. To powerlifting. And then it switched. To strong money. If anybody gets under, please talk to us so we can make sure to change the calories, change what you're doing, and make sure you recover. Okay, I'll get in early. I'll do some uh, stretching, some abs. We're at that stage now. Okay. I'm with you guys, and that's why I think I can relate with you guys, because I'm actually doing this stuff with you, and I've done it for a lifetime, and I've done it at all ages, so I understand the 20-year-old that wants to be a superstar and say, no, I can train harder than anybody. Mm -hmm. I get it. I remember the teenager that said, uh, uh, oh, you know what? I'll go party on Friday and Saturday. I'll work out next week, or I'll eat right next week. No, I'm giving up the party, and even at that age, because I knew something later is going to be better, so... Whatever you guys' issues are, whatever you're going through, talk to us. Talk to us. We will get you there. We will get you to your goal that you want to be. But also, I think, take don't take the gym life and adapt it to the outside life. I think you need to take the outside life and adapt it to the gym life. I think that is the, that's the thing I learned when I hit 40. Yeah. You got to take, this is my life. How can I continue to live this way? Change my training to fit that. No, it's and and I have to say that you've been doing pretty, pretty freaking amazing by scheduling your workouts around your life, right? Because sometimes we have meetings, sometimes we have podcasts, sometimes we travel, right? We got back to traveling, shows or whatever. It's like it's like having an appointment with your doctor. You don't miss it. He goes around the day. The night before, and always remember this, you don't schedule your workouts the day of. You don't schedule your meals the day of. You don't wake up and be like, well, today I'm going to go to the gym. No. It has to be the day before. So before you like go that. to bed, before you go to bed, you have to know what your day is going to look like tomorrow. Yeah, things might change here and there, but you have to know what time you're going to the gym, what time you're going to be done, sort of, and when, how is the meals going to lay out for you. And guess what's going to call your name? Success. You know, the day is going to be easy. You're not going to be stressed because you get your workouts in, you get your meals in. Meetings could be canceled or, you know, you could, you know, make new meetings or whatever. But if you miss that workout in the morning, I tell you what, there's no way in hell that you're going to drag your ass later in the afternoon after you beat up for a whole day of work, uh, mental work from talking to clients and computers and I don't know, you know, whatever, being a doctor, whatever you might do. No way you're going to go to the gym. You'll be like, ah, I should just miss today. I'll just go tomorrow. Be the day before, you have to know what you have to do. So that's Test yourself. Do. do you know what time you're going to the gym tomorrow? I do. Exactly. I'm going to leave here around 6 and uh -huh. meet you there. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to get in before everybody else. I always do. And I always leave uh -huh. after. Um, uh, I'll get in early. I'll do some uh, stretching. Some abs. We're at that stage now. And we have Clark coming to meet us. Clark Barson is going to be in yeah. tomorrow, and we're going to go live with Clark because I do want to talk to Clark about a couple of issue, uh, issues, issues, some things. Filming in. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And we're going to uh, try out a new chiropractor tomorrow. We're going to also try out a new scraper tomorrow. Um, again, these are body work um, experts, and so we're going to work with those guys. I do want you guys to say we're going to get them on at a different time. But uh, do you guys want to say hi to everybody? Anita. Want to give a little wave? So I got two of my girlfriends here. Come say hi. You just need to say hi. We're going to tune out. Everybody knows you. Look who's here. One of the OGs. That's right. The natty one. Oh, you're going to get a story on this. Look at this. Look at this. Uh. Um, but I want you guys to understand... Three things. You found your passion a while ago. Yes. Strong one. You thought you did. Way but, back. Oh, for bodybuilding. And then it switched. To powerlifting. And then it switched. To strong women. There you go. <laughs> it just keeps going, guys. Yes. It keeps going. And, and I, I always see, uh, hey, uh, you got to compete. You're in great shape. I'm like, no, I got to keep doing the movies. This is uh, this is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. So. You keep growing as you get older and you find something more and more fun. And I'm getting stronger as I get older. We got that 59. old school strength. Longevity. Oh, 
I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but we'll talk to her tomorrow. And I want to talk to you guys about whatever you guys have questions about. And then she can talk about whatever she wants to talk about that keeps her going and pushing and doing what she does. Not all about, it's not all about Michael Hearn, you know. See you, you later, y'all. We'll yeah, see you guys later. tomorrow. Uh, again, remember the Titan Workshop is on the 24th through the 26th. The real day to be there would be the 25th, that Saturday. That's when everybody's going to be there. Um, we got chiropractic coming with us. We got uh, other elite trainers coming with us. We got speakers coming with us. It's going to be a whole day event. Uh, why are you posing your tricep? No, no, no. <laughs> what are we training tomorrow? <sighs> Shoulders? No, uh, glutes and hams. Oh. Yeah. All right. I like that. All right, you crazy titans. I will see everybody. Uh, um, Diva and Bobo say hey, T. Hi, Diva and Bobo. Hi, Diva. <laughs> you mean that Bobo? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, Bobo, uh, if you want to work with me, you, my Instagram page is michaelhearn.com. You can just sign up over there. Uh, That's right. You can use PayPal. You can use PayPal, Venmo, uh, or my fans only account. <laughs> oh. uh, okay. Randy said, I, I didn't check in. Uh, just, just starting back. To the gym after my back injury. Oh, I didn't even know she had a back injury. I hope you feel okay. If anybody gets injured, please talk to us so we can make sure to change the calories, change what you're doing, and make sure you recover. Okay? Uh, it's great that you're dieting down. And it's great you're doing that. I'll say this again. It's more important on the slip-ups to be in touch. And I know the majority of people, definitely Bobo, when they slip up, they, they run away and they stop talking to you. And that's the most important time. <laughs> oh, boy, it's all on you. His balls Diva, are we small love you. Right We're now. so excited you're going to come and join the crazy. Um, can you read that? Of course. He said, thanks, Mike, for the push. I've reached my 10% body fat. What? How do you both continue to stay focused after completing a hard program? It's always off feeling i agree of deserving a snack or some sort i agree so this is i agree with him what he's saying here because one when you have a goal he's asking a question he didn't say anything well he is asking the questions and i agree with, well what i'm saying i agree with the question because my my thing is that when i reach a goal when i did my photo shoot and i finished my shoot I was like, oh, I just finished. I should be eating Food. something good. Yeah. What should I have? Right. Cheesecake factory, this, that, right. you know? So how do you stay on track? How do you stay focused after reaching a goal? Tell me yours. Well, first thing first, what I always said, and I was so thankful when we worked on this, when we did the reverse diet. Yeah. So anytime you come off a plan, I think you definitely have to reverse out of it, not just go crazy. And what about crazy. a celebration meal? Oh, yeah. I do a celebration meal all the Man, time. I would love you to go out yeah. or take a day and yeah. celebrate. Pizza, cake, Eat whatever, whatever you, want. you want. Don't do sugars in the sense of like chocolate and cakes, I would say. But pizza. Well, I don't eat sugar. Pizza. So wow. Sugar. Wow. I got this girl. Uh, yeah, pizza. Yeah. I got all the dogs under my. Burgers. Burgers. Pizza, and the, any you're going to find out also something too, Magruder, is uh, since I started. Uh, um, 